Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes for this season of fall. So if you want to see my picks, then just keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I fancy myself to be a product knowledge enthusiast. I just like knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and I like to share that with you guys. Today, I have picked out my top, I was trying to do 10, but then I did 11. Favorite palettes for fall this year. If you're new to my channel, I've been trying to do these every season. And basically, this is more so just to encourage you to dig back into your collection and remind you of some palettes that you could pull out for this time of year. I like to do an even mix of everything. High end to more affordable, new and old products, some are even discontinued, but it's just to remind you of what you already have and then also of course to recommend you some new ones that could be fun to pick up for this season as well. So I like to keep everything very balanced and there really is options for everybody. It has been nice and cool outside, so this is really a celebration for me. I hate summer. It is way too hot. The only thing I like about summer is as a teacher, I get off, but that is it. It. So I'm not a huge fall person. I'm more of a spring person, but this transition weather is giving me all types of life. So we're definitely celebrating by doing this fall palettes video. Now, when I think of fall, for me, it's more so about warm colors, bronzes, golds, all of that. So you'll see a lot of those color stories running throughout this video. I have a few other color stories that I threw in as well. Let's get started. Let's get to the first palette. This one is a brand brand new one. I just reviewed it, but I actually think this one would be a really fun one for you guys to pick up during fall and this is the khaki haze obsessions palette from huda beauty and it's just this gorgeous green toned khaki color story and i think it's a new color story for fall it's not what think of in terms of being warm but it actually has a lot of different options so of course you have the khaki greens which is a really cool color story to wear in the fall but also you can really do a lot with this palette i find that there's a lot of variety for different looks that you can create you don't have to go green you actually have a nice copper color here you have some some warm toned browns. There's just so many different looks that you can create with this palette and all of which I think are going to be perfect for this fall. I do have a full review up on this palette and the other two palettes that released with this, but this one for me screams fall and I actually find it to be quite unique compared to some other fall palettes that you may have. So this one could be a fun one to mix it up. The next one that I have, this one is an older one, but this is the perfect time to pull out your Visi Art Warm Mattes palettes. Now this is a all matte palette Palette, but I like all matte palettes. I think an all matte look is very flattering on the eye and it looks very good. But also this is a good time for you to play with these warm tones in your crease and then actually dig into your lid topper or glitter drawer that you have where you have all your singles and that. I, I feel like I never use those. I always forget I just use the palette. I don't think to put the lid toppers on, the liquid glitters or whatever I have in there, the cream shadows. So if you pull this out, then you can open up that cream shadow drawer that you have and then pop that on the lid. But anyways, for me, this just screams thanksgiving i see a turkey <laughs> basically in this palette so i think it is perfect for fall this is great quality if you picked this up and you never use it this is a great time of year to put it in your everyday makeup drawer because it just has these great warm toned fall colors that are going to pair so well with other palettes that you already have all of your single cream shadows so i love this one it blends beautifully highly recommend the next one that i have to recommend to you i do believe i also put this in my summer favorites but this is a great trend transition palette. It is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. So even though I might have mentioned this in the summer, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm still mentioning it for fall because this carries over from summer into fall very well. We have all these gorgeous metallic tones right here. And again, super warm, super bronzy. These colors work great for these two seasons. And I did want to mention this again because this is fairly new, but maybe if you've been overwhelmed with all of the new holiday releases, still leave this guy out. It's very good. You no, she's not cheap. She's very great quality. And to this day, I still recommend it. The one kind of thing that I don't like about this palette is I feel like so many of the looks that you create look very similar because it is just such a solely bronze toned palette, but I use it all the time because I know if I want a bronze toned look, this is where I'm gonna get it from. And the quality is superb and definitely will be transitioning this into my fall eyeshadow grab. Moving on to the next one. I believe this palette is 
discontinued i will have to double check with that probably down in the description box because you'll see but it's a drugstore one it's affordable this is the makeup revolution soap x collaboration their extra spice palette i don't know if any of you guys would have this but i have it and i opened it up and i thought that this would be a palette that i needed to grab for fall now i will say I really do not like Makeup Revolution's formula. <sighs> I've tried time and time again, but I have completely stopped purchasing their palettes, which is really tough on me because they have some beautiful color stories in their palettes, but I normally won't pick up Makeup Revolution now unless it's a collaboration with a creator that I really like. I really like Soph. She is Soph Does Nails here on... I actually, I think she changed her name. She's no longer Soph Does Nails, but she came out with two Makeup Revolution palettes and I picked this up last year and I don't think this one is half bad. I don't think it's great and I think you need to work with it, but but this one I wanted to bring into this video because I wanted to remind myself that this is a great palette to grab for for the fall and I want to use it. I have this thing where I actually grab for eyeshadow palettes that don't work well for me because I am determined to make them work well for me. I don't know if I'm stubborn or what. And this is one of those palettes. I think this color story is beautiful. She did a great job with that. You have your warm tones, you have brighter berry colors, yellows, oranges, even into your khaki shades. This is a very well laid out palette and you can most definitely make this palette work for you. But again, it's not the best quality, but it's great for this time of year. So if you don't grab for it that often for that reason, and it's just sitting in your collection, one, I declutter it or two be like me and make an effort to actually use it this fall because this is a good one so like i said i don't know if you have that i wouldn't say if you don't have this that you need to run out and get it but this is more so of a friendly reminder that if you did pick this up like me you should probably pull it out um, the next one is a newer palette and um, this is the melt cosmetics she's in parties palette now for this one i'm channeling more halloweeny vibes and when i did my initial review i told you guys i'm not crazy about this palette I think the quality is phenomenal here. This is the best quality melt palette that I've ever tried, but I tend to stick to these colors up here. I like lighter, brighter purple colors, but I think now that it is fall time, that is my excuse to dig more into these colors. Like these colors were a little bit scary for summer, but I think come Halloween, I might have to dig into this guy more because you get these deep, plum, gorgeous, smoky eyes with this palette. Like I said, not my normal color story, but that is why I I do these seasonal videos to make me step out of my comfort zone and to remind me you can use what you're not comfortable with use what you have so I will definitely be digging into this palette this time of year we have an older palette I don't even think this is available anymore but remember you got to dig into it if you have it it's a perfect time of year for the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette this is uh, one of my favorite obsessions palettes that she's came out with color story wise I really do feel like this is a unique palette I don't have a lot of palettes that have this kind of color story It's a little bit more orangey than a lot of the warm palettes that you see So I think I'm definitely going to try to dig into this palette more this season It's perfect for Thanksgiving, but it's a little bit brighter than the other palettes that I've recommended So this one could be like the fun pop of color a lot of vibrancy for this time of year So I'm excited to dig back into this um, we have a a new one I just reviewed this but the look that I did was so fall that I wanted to put it in this video this is a perfect palette for fall and it's a great chance for you to support a great creator and that is the Ofra cosmetics collaboration with Leora and I'll put the link to it down below and this is pretty affordable it's $29 obviously not dirt cheap but I feel like for what you're getting it is a very good deal and then if you use Leora's discount code you'll get I believe an additional 20% off so that saves you quite a lot of money but I think this is a great condensed version of a fall palette so you have a really nice deep green tone if you want to go for a little bit more vibrant or even like a green smoky eye but you also have these tones to get a very subtle neutral fall inspired kind of eye and i know i keep talking about this fall eye this fall eye obviously you can use whatever color you want all year round like i said this video is just to kind of inspire you to really dig into your collection and see what you have and you know what to kind of play into the year it's fun and i think that this is a fun new one to add to your collection to wear this fall and these smaller condensed palettes are really great because you don't have to think too hard about how you're going to create a look and I really like the quality of this I wasn't too sure how it would feel about Ofra Cosmetics formula for eyeshadows I'm just not that familiar with it but I had a really good time with this palette it's very 
easy to use. The next one is a also a more condensed palette and it's from the drugstore and this is the Milani Most Wanted Eyeshadow Palette in Outlaw Olive. So again, I chose this color story because I just love the green tones and I think this time of year is a great time to bring out the green tones. Now, I don't think this palette is anything spectacular quality wise, but it definitely is doable. I feel like this isn't a color story that a lot of people have in their collection. So this is a great way to add a different color to your collection without really breaking the bank. And it's gorgeous. You do have to make some of the shadows work for you. Like I would recommend with the shimmer shades using a glitter glue just because I think longevity with this palette isn't the best. I do feel like they can over blend or as you wear them throughout the day, they do fade. So make sure you're using an eyeshadow base, not just a concealer and use things like glitter glues to really make that longevity work for you. I think this one is a really fun one to consider and I do recommend picking it up just to kind of change it up a little bit. Last thing about this palette, you get a lot of different dimension and finishes with this palette as well. I think the shimmer shades are really gorgeous. They add a nice, very fine sparkle to the eye and you get all depths that you need as well. So that's awesome. I'm adding this palette in to remind me to use it because I don't use this nearly as much as I should. I think I've used this like twice. And this is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. And this has everything that I want for fall. We, I feel like the Melt line for the most part, almost all of the palettes that they come out with, like this is their time of year. They're gonna be perfect for fall. So it's not just these two, but this one you have green tones and then you actually have the warm neutral tones as well. I'm not a huge fan of Melt's shadow formula in general with the exception of She's in Parties. So this isn't my favorite formula, but it's a decent formula. And I think for this time of year, I want to bring this one out more because this is the time to wear it. It's a gorgeous color story, one of my favorites. And I just, I can Mm, this is a good one. The next one that I have is from Vizzy Art. This one is more Halloween-y kind of vibes. This is the Dark Edit palette. This is one of my favorites from Vizzy Art. I think it's one of their most unique and also one of their best quality in their edit line. Lately, I feel like Vizzy Art's been coming out with softer palettes and there's nothing wrong with that, but this one is not a soft palette at all. The colors in here really pack a punch and for the fun Halloween-y kind of vibes, I think that this palette is perfect. You do have the warm kind of Thanksgiving tones, but you also have purple, you have some fun greens. This is a, oh my gosh, the more I look at it, the more I'm excited to pull this out. I really love this one. This is the most unique color story Vizzy Art's ever come out with, in my opinion. And since it is an edit palette, it is a little bit more affordable than say their regular 12 pan palettes, but you still get phenomenal quality. So this is a really great one. I highly recommend even purchasing it if you don't have it yet. Okay, so now it's time for the very last palette and you guys, I don't know. I feel like some of you are gonna shame me for recommending this one. I, I wouldn't say go out and buy it if you don't have it. However, if you do have this, bring it out. If you are anything like me, I, I really like buying Morphe palettes, especially back in the day. I really am enamored by just the 35 eyeshadows. And I bought this on my birthday, I believe on my 21st birthday. Maybe it was my 22nd. No, I bought this on my 22nd birthday, I think. I don't remember, but I bought this on my birthday and this is a Morphe 3502. I don't even know that this is available. I think they were discontinuing it and it's not a great palette. Like you're getting 50 shades of the exact same brown, but you cannot deny that this is not the time of year to pull this palette out. So like I said, if you do have it, pull it out. I don't think the quality of Morphe shadows are that bad, especially if you're just playing with these neutral tones. And I think this is a great way to start out your collection as well. Or if there's a teenager in your life who's getting into makeup, this is a great palette to consider. Even if you don't buy from Morphe anymore, if you've purchased this in the past and yours is collecting dust, this is a really great palette to pull out. And I, I like Morphe, you know? And don't shame me. I told you guys this in confidence. Morphe's not one of my favorite brands, but I do like it and I have this palette sitting in my drawer and I wanted to remind myself to use it. So if you're in the same position as me, I wanted to remind you as well. So that is all I have for this year's fall palette recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I inspired you to pull out any of your old palettes, let me know what they are. You guys really seem to love when I do these kinds of videos and I bring back old memories and I just encourage you to use what you have and remind you of what you already have in your collection. So it's helpful to me and I hope it's helpful to you as well. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.